goes through your mind, or, or what were the conversations like when you, Coach Madison calls a blitz that rotates you to deep middle of the field and you're playing basically for safety? Yeah, well, we've done it for a while now. We practiced it in the spring. Haven't really showcased it until obviously on Saturday, but um, it's kind of weird. It's a different feeling. Um, you know, I'm not used to dropping back, back in the middle of the field, especially on sometimes where I'm in the half, deep half. Um, but it's it's different. It's a weird feeling. Um, but I like it. It kind of brings me back to my freshman, sophomore year, high school days. But kind of feel like I have some feel with that. Um, coaches obviously trust me with that, and um, uh, we we'll go from there. Um, and we use that, and obviously it worked out for us. You, you, did, you played DB a fair amount in high school, right? Yes. I know you played linebacker here since you've been here. I'm sure you feel most natural there now, but how much of that DB skill do you feel like you still have, and how much of that instinct can you kick back in when you're back there? Uh, I feel like I have a little bit. Um, I can't really tell now because of my footwork. It changed your footwork completely. You're just taking your first steps back instead of forward now. Um, but you have a little feel. Um, obviously, you're not um, kind of fluent as much as the DBs are here, obviously. Um, but I do still have some feel for it, and I just continue to get better, especially when we practice these different calls as we go on. Front row right, Austin uh, from Letterman Row. Pete, you're doing a lot of like the bullet stuff the way it was described to us maybe coming into the season. Maybe I don't know if it's more than Sam or not, but do you, do you consider yourself in your mind a bullet or the bullet, or do you still think of yourself as a Sam? I'm, I'm like, if you look at me, my definition as a player is a Sam. So I go by Sam. And they call in the Sams, I go out on the field. Okay. Yeah. How has how that role that you played so far, how much are you enjoying that compared to a year ago? Uh, I think it fits me better. I think it fits me personally, like as my position, uh, my athletic ability better. Um, and I feel like um, just having a whole year under my belt last year, I feel like I'm personally better. And, um, my footwork's better, my eyes are better. And I feel like with this position, you need your footwork, you need your eyes, and that'll help you out a bunch. So. I feel like, um, yeah, just my athletic ability uh, kind of leads me to doing well at this, this position. Second row right, uh, Tony from the Ozone. Pete, what's your favorite aspect of this defense? Um, I just think that um, everybody running to the football, uh, no big plays allowed, kind of makes me love this defense. Uh, last year was just kind of frustrating. We get the third and five, um, we get ready, ready to get off the field, and then there's a 25 yard gain. Um, or if it's first and 10, they get 25 yard gain, or then they'll run down the field for a touchdown, and you're just like, well, what's going on? Um, just one little thing can lead to a big play. But now uh, we kind of have a we have a feel where we can, if everybody does their job, runs the football, then it's not going to it's not going to mess you up too bad, um, and everybody has a chance to kind of stop that. How demoralizing is like giving up like a third and five, third and eight when you're thinking you're going to get off the field, and now you've got to get back out there again? It's tough, but uh, obviously we're trained. We have great coaches. We're trained to keep going. Um, we're trained to. You see that um, we just next play, next play is what they preach. So I continue to live by that and um, just love to see another down. Third row left, Dan from Pete, Eleven Warriors. Pete, Brendan White said he has learned from you as he's kind of just playing his bullet position and playing linebacker. What's it been like working with him on that this year, and how do you feel like you guys kind of complement each other? Yeah, uh, yeah, we just learned from each other. He's a great kid, a uh, great athlete. Um, he's just last year he kind of had a different position, so he his footwork's. His footwork kind of changes. Um, the way he uses his eyes this year is going to change as well. It's just a whole new position. It's kind of like switching from a DB to a linebacker, you'd say. Um, so it's just taking a while to adjust. And um, now he's doing great. He had a great uh, game last week. But yeah, we kind of complement each other. Um, I do some good things that he picks up on. And he does some great things that I can learn from. So we just yeah, complement each other. You've seen more playing time than him so far this year. But what's it like for you guys kind of knowing that every week the way you're game planning, your roles could change a lot from one week to the next. Yeah, we could, and we just kind of, we, we know that. Uh, we just kind of do what coach tells us to do. Uh, we're confident in both of each other's abilities, that whether he's out there or I'm out there, we're, we're confident in our defense scheme, um, that we're going to put the best person out there to uh, do the job. So um, again, we compliment each other, and um, whatever coach tells us to do, we're going to do that. Front row right, Tim? Yeah, from Pete. Letterman Row. Yeah. Pete, you, look like, you look, literally look like you're having fun playing uh, the first couple. I mean, am I wrong about that? And number two, what, what has brought that along? Just more knowledge, more idea of where you fit in this, in this scheme, et cetera? Just what's fostered that? Yeah, um, I think my ability to have fun um, kind of generates from the other um, people's ability to have fun on the defense. Um, when you see somebody make plays or 
you see somebody you really use their effort, their their capability of making a play from running to the field to the next. Um, if you see somebody make a great play, that kind of fires you up. And it fires each other's up, it fires up the coaches, which then um, takes you back to yourself. Um, but I just feel like with a whole new different scheme, we're kind of producing better at a high level. Um, so that's just kind of, that just, I think that is fun. So um, yeah, I just, I'm just going to flow and having some fun. Yeah, you, you, have, yeah, exactly. you have a vantage point, though, too, when you watch video. Uh, you know, we've talked about Chase Young, et cetera, but Devon Hamilton seems to be playing on another level, too, and, yeah. and maybe Chase Sean. I mean, what, what have you seen out of those guys in particular that has caught your eye? Well, it's great playing in front of – well, playing behind those guys. I mean, they, <laughs> they open up so many great things for you, for us um, as a linebacker group. Without them, we couldn't do, really do much. But – um, seeing improvements from um, from you said uh, Dave on yeah. and uh, Jay Sean, they're just great guys, and they they see this defense. They're the leaders of this defense now, and they they kind of set the standard for guys, um, younger guys on this <laughs> defense to look ahead of. Um, so yeah, they they just they're playing a lot better. Um, again, they just set the standard for this defense. Far left, Corey. Uh, Jay Sean Cornell told us that he. He filled the expectation that he's supposed to know what the other 10 players on the field are supposed to be doing on every single play. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's just up front, or is that every member of the defense is supposed to know all 10 of them? Yeah, well, everybody doesn't really know everybody else's position. Okay, so that's um, exaggerating. Uh, I would say a little bit, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't go out and play uh, Jay Sean's position um, on every play. Although I kind of have a feel for what he's doing. I know what gap he's going to be in every single time. I know where the safeties are dropping, whether they're half down the middle. I know I have a feel for it. Um, but yeah, I can go and do what he does. I just know where guys are set on the field for the formation um, to go execute my job. We got time for just a couple more. Front row right, Bill. What does the defense need to do better? Um, they just, again, we're just kind of climbing that ladder. We don't really, um, we just go with the scheme, we go with the call and we kind of go ahead. So we're, we listen to our coaches, um, but we need to we need to do a lot of things better. We need to just improve on the things that we have done just at a different level. Um, our defense right now is not good enough to do what we have in mind to do. Um, so we need to do a, we need to um, look at our keys a little bit better, eliminate our MAs, missing assignments, um, just to further ahead um, have the best defense in the country. Here for you being an indie guy, mm -hmm. is this game special? Of course it is, yes. Um, I think about it when I first got here. My first game ever um, was at IU. I played there. Um, it was my first game ever, ever. So I'm going back there. I have a bunch of family, a lot of family that will be at that game. And it's, uh, I grew up going to these games as a kid. We had season tickets. So it'll, it'll mean something to me. Um, not ri from a different perspective, obviously. But yeah, it will. Did you uh, go to the ball game? Uh, eh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I knew Kevin Wilson pretty well at that time, um, but I kind of made a select few of them to down to like five schools in Indiana. It wasn't one of those. They kind of recruited me a little bit later, and I wasn't really ha happy about that. But, uh, yeah, I don't need to say so. And final questions. Front row left. Doug from Cleveland.com. They were late on you? They were. Yeah, they were. They were late to the Cleveland Well, I think it, it, I had like an injury in high school. Uh, I think it was uh, like a shoulder or hip injury. Um, so, yeah, they were a little late. They were kind of skeptical with that. But, <sighs> Obviously, other, other schools kind of trusted in me, so kind of went ahead with that. So uh, when the new defensive staff came in and they started talking about this bullet thing or whatever, just new coaches, was there a time for you where you were like, I wonder how I fit into this defense, or I wonder how much I'm going to be able to play, or maybe we'll, we'll only have two linebackers on the field a bunch of the time? Uh, a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say so much. Um, I just know that I trusted my coaches. They would put me in the best ability to make me play as well as I could, so I kind of trusted in them. Um, but I didn't really know anything about the scheme. I was just knowing I was going to go out there and try to impress coaches and do my thing. Um, so yeah, as far as the bullet, I didn't really know anything about the bullet at that point. I just knew that I was going to give it on my all and uh, show my capabilities. And just to follow up on what Tim was asking, just I mean, you're playing a ton. You guys are playing fast. Does, does this sort of feel like like this is why I do this? This is why we work out in the winter. This is like yes. why I love football. Yes, it is. Yeah, and uh, we. It goes back so far, it's all tied on a string. You, uh, right after that Rose Bowl game, you're off a week, and then you go straight into workouts. And then workouts carry, obviously, all the way until the end of the summer, camp starts, and then you're starting the season. So, 
um, yeah, everything ties together. And um, yeah, I truly do think it all has a purpose for everything. Obviously, the coaches preach that. So, yeah, I agree. Great. Pete, thank you so much.